Good afternoon, so I am Christopher Pajoleliza and for today's return demonstration, I am going to perform nasooropharyngeal um, suctioning to the patient. So before we start, we have to um, verify the doctor's order to make sure that we are in the right patient and we are in the right order. After that, we have to identify the patient using two identifier. So we're going to ask the name of the patient and the date of birth of the patient. So. Good morning, ma'am. I am Christopher Pajoleliza, and I will be your names for today. May I know your name, ma'am? Okay, ma'am Remedios Leliza. Kailan po birthday nila? Okay po, November 30, 1985. So, um, for today's procedure po, ay mag-a-undergo po kayo ng nasooropharyngeal um, suctioning. So, dito po, um, we're going to... Um, use thick um, tube so it will be a little uncomfortable kasi um, yung thick tube na yun, yung tinatawag natin younger, so ipapasok natin yun sa um, nose and your mouth po. So, ito pong procedure na to, it will help you to um, more or to improve your breathing and mas maging comfortable po kayo. So, we're going to suction po yung mucus and yung saliva from the back of your throat po. Is that okay po na mag-undergo kayo ng, um, ng procedure? Okay po. So, after identifying the patient, after explaining the procedure, we have to gather the equipment needed. So, the equipment needed are, we have here the um, we have here the uh, suction machine, the pressure, and also we have here the suction tube, the nasal cannula of the patient. We also have here the um, pulse oximeter, catheter, nasal saline solution, container, and stethoscope. So we're going to use this to check the breathing sound of the patient. So after gathering the equipment needed, we're going now to turn on the machine. So um, after turning on the machine, or before turning on the machine, we're just going to ask first the patient if um, she has a facial surgery or any face trauma. So after asking the patient, um, we're going to elevate the bed of the um, patient 45 degrees or we can turn her into semi fuller position para mas ma, uh, ma improve yung lung expansion and yung breathing ni patient. So after natin um, i-turn, so ngayon naka semi fuller na si patient, um, now we're going to turn on now the um, suction machine. So, pag turn on ng machine, um, we also, um, we're going to set na ngayon yung pressure. So, dun sa pressure, uh, sa pressure na gagamitin natin, mayroon tayong mga iba't ibang um, pressure na indicated for patient. So, sa, may mga age tayo. So, for adult, is, it is 100 to 180 millimeter. Pag newborn, 80 to 100 millimeter. Kapag um, bata naman, 100 to 120 millimeter pressure yung gagamitin natin na pang suction kay patient. So, pag naset na natin yung pressure, meron din tayo iba't ibang proper catheter na pwedeng gamitin kay patient. So, kapag ang edad ni patient is adult, ay pang adult, so ang gagamitin natin is yung color green na catheter. Pag newborn naman, violet na catheter. Kapag um, Bata naman, ang gagamitin natin is yung yellow catheter. So, um, we have to um, check the oxygen saturation of the patient. So, dito, um, ilalagay natin to dun sa fingernails ni patient. So, ilalagay natin siya sa, um, 
sa index finger, middle finger, or kaya naman sa ring finger. So, the result will come out 1 to 8 seconds. So, sa 1 to 8 seconds na yun, uh, makikita na natin yung result. So, pwede rin natin i-1 dun sa daliri ni patient, depende sa doctor's order, kung for continue observation si patient. So, ilalagay na natin. Okay, ma'am. So, yung um, oxygen saturation nyo po is 88%. So, it is below normal po because ang normal po natin is 95 to 100%. So, kaya po mababa, it is an um, indication po na nahihirapan po kayong humunga. Kaya kailangan po natin mag-undergo ng suctioning. So, after getting the um, oxygen saturation of the patient, now, we're going to Um, prepare yung gagamitin nating catheter. So, uh, um, the equipment should be sterile. So, ito yung gagamitin nating um, gagamitin nating catheter kay patient. So, ito rin yung gagamitin nating nasal solution and then yung container. So, lalagay lang natin yung nasal solution sa container. And then, So, ito yung um ito yung suction tubing and then ito yung catheter and then i is ilulusot lang natin siya. Then our right thumb will control ngayon yung um yung tubing para um hindi siya mag-flow pababa. So, ang gusto natin makuha dito is mag-flow siya pataas at pumasok siya doon sa suction cup natin. So, The first thing we have to do is we're going to prime yung tubing. So, sa paglinis ng tubing, um, we're going to tap or lalagyan lang natin yung end ng tubing dun sa may container natin. Then, yung right time natin, siya yung um, magko-control para mag-flow back siya pataas. Then, after that, um, pagkatapos natin i-prime, Aalisin natin ngayon yung nasal cannula kay patient. Kay patient. So, sa pag, pag inalis na natin yung nasal cannula, ngayon, ilalagay natin tong end of tubing dun sa nostrils ni patient. So, mag-start tayo sa right. So, sa pagpasok ng, sa pagpasok ng right tubing dun sa um, kwan ni patient, uh, we're going to insert it. Hindi natin kailangan ipasok lahat ng um, tubing dun sa um, ilong ni patient. So, ang gagawin natin is yun sa nose niya. So, yung nose, nose na tubing, i-insert lang natin siya, i-insert lang natin siya from dun hanggang dun sa may earlobes. Mouth hanggang earlobes. So, ipapasok na natin siya. Then, pag napasok na natin siya, using our light tab again, isa-suction na natin siya. So, we're going to control it. Then, kapag na-suction na natin yung right Um, right nose trees ni or nose ni baby any patient um, ang susunod na gagawin natin is we're going to remove yung in a circular motion so kapag na-remove na natin ibabalik natin kaagad yung um, nasal cannula ni patient so pag nabalik, um, nabalik na natin yung nasal cannula ni patient um, we're going to prime it again dilinisin ulit natin yung tubing so ilalagay ulit natin sa Um, container. So, then, pag nalinis na ulit, doon naman tayo sa left nose ni patient. So, aalisin ulit natin yung nasal cannula. Then, i-insert natin yung um, tubing doon sa left nose ni patient. So, sa left nostrils, nostrils hanggang doon sa may earlobe ni patient. So, pag napasok na natin, then, suction it again. Then, um, remove it in rotating motion. Then, balik agad natin yung nasal cannula ni patient. Then, the next thing that um, we are going to do is prime it again. Then, alisin ulit natin yung nasal cannula. Ngayon, doon naman tayo sa may mouth ni patient. So, doon naman muna natin simulan sa may side, right side ng mouth ni patient. Then, balik ulit natin yung nasal cannula. Prime. 
Then, alisin ulit natin yung nasal cannula. Then, doon naman sa my left side ng mouth ni patient. So, ganun lang yung gagawin natin. Um, vice versa natin gagawin yung pag-suction doon sa my um, sa my nose ni patient at doon sa mouth ni patient. So, kaya nga natin tinawag siyang nasooropharyngeal because we're going to suction it through the nose and through the mouth. So, after natin masuction um, yung kwan ni patient, um, aayusin natin or we're going to check again the pulse oximeter of um, oxygen saturation of the patient. Okay, ma'am. So, nag-improve po yung oxygen niyo. So, your oxygen saturation now is 90%. So, um, ma'am, um, dyan po nag-e-end yung ano natin, um, yung procedure natin for nasooropharyngeal uh, suctioning. So, the next thing we are, um, we have, um, we are going to do is, aayusin na natin yung equipment na ginamit natin. So, ita-turn off na natin yung suction machine. Then, ayusin na natin yung tube. And then, after that, um, after um, ayusin yung mga equipment na ginamit, um, we're going to perform hand washing. So, for example, naalis na natin yung gloves. So, nag-perform na tayo ng hand washing. Then, next is we have to document all the gathered data. So, we're going to document kung nag-improve ba yung um, breathing ni, pater, ni patient and kung um, okay ba yung breathing sound ni patient and uh, kung gumana ba yung suctioning kay patient. So, um, that's all. I hope that this letter demonstration will help you a lot. So, thank you very much and have a nice day.